हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू मैथ्स क्लास इन चैप्टर फ्रैक्शन वी हैव ऑलरेडी डन टाइप्स ऑफ फ्रैक्शन कन्वर्शन इक्विवेलेंट फ्रैक्शन टूडे वी विल कॉन्टिन्यू विद इक्विवेलेंट फ्रैक्शन एंड सिंपलेस फॉर्म सो एज आई हैव ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू Equivalent fractions are the fractions which gives the same amount. So here, our today's topic is find the missing numerator or denominator in given equivalent fraction. Here, first example is one upon two equals to blank upon four. Here. first step is at the place of blank you will put a box so what will come in next step 1 upon 2 equals to box upon 4 now what you have to see you will see box side here number is given 4 in the denominator now we know that 4 is bigger than Two. Now, by which number I will multiply two so that I will get four? Right. Here I will multiply it by two. But I can't multiply only denominator by two. Here I have to multiply numerator also by two. So when I will multiply both by Two upon two. What will come? One two is a two. Two two is a four. So here we have got our answer that numerator equals to two. Now let's see one more example. Here we are having three upon five equals to twelve upon blank. Now we know our first step. At the place of blank, we will put one box. So here it comes: three upon five equals to twelve upon box. In the previous question, numerator was missing. Now denominator is missing. So how to find denominator? In the same way. Here we will see the box side. Numerator is twelve. On the left side, numerator is three. That means twelve is bigger than three. So here we have to multiply three by some number to get twelve. Which number is that? Right, that number is four. So here we'll multiply both by. Four upon four. So what will come? Three fours are twelve. Five fours are twenty. So what will come in the denominator? Twenty. Therefore, twenty will be our answer. Now let's see third example. Here six upon ten equals to three upon blank. Now what is missing? Here denominator is missing. So we will put box at the place of missing denominator. Now see the numerators on both side. Here on the box side numerator is three, and on the left side numerator is six. Now what are you observing? That This numerator is smaller than six, so here at the place of multiply, we will divide six by some number to get three, because three is smaller than six. So by which number I will divide it? Right, here I will divide it by two upon two. So when I will divide it by two, here six divided by two, I will get three. When I will divide ten by two, here it comes 
5. Therefore, answer of this question is 5. Let's see one more example. Here, 18 upon 27 equals to blank upon 3. Now, what is missing? Numerator. So, here we will put box at the place of numerator. Now, see the denominator. What is denominator here? 3. Now, as you can see, here 3 is smaller than 27. So, we will divide 27 by some number to get 3. So, by which number we will divide it? Right. Here, we will divide both numerator and denominator by 9. Because we know when we will divide 27 by 9, here we will get 3. So, what will be the numerator when we will divide both by 9? Here, 18 divided by 9, it comes 2. So, here, what, come, what will come? 2. So, our answer is 2. Now, let's move to the next concept that is simplest form. So, what is simplest form? Simplest form means reduce a fraction to the lowest term. So, when a fraction will be in lowest term? A fraction is in its lowest term if the common factor of numerator and denominator is only 1. Now, let's understand with examples. Here, is the fraction 5 upon 9 in its lowest term? Now, can you tell me that 5 and 9, these two numbers come in any common table? No, they comes only in table 1. That means, common factor in numerator and denominator is only 1. Therefore, 5 upon 9 is already in its lowest term. So here what answer will come? Yes, that 5 upon 9 is already in its lowest term. Now let's see the examples to simplify. Here simplify 6 upon 8. What is the meaning of simplify? Simplify is same as reduce the fraction to its lowest term. Now we will see that 6 and 8, are they come in any common table? Yes, they comes in table of 1, they come in table of 2, any other common table? No. So which table will cut them? On the table of 2. Here it comes. 2 3s are 6. 2 4s are 8. So further cutting is not possible. What will come here? 3 upon 4. Now 6 upon 8 in its lowest term is 3 upon 4. Let's see one more example. Here simplify 20 upon 30. Now, here you should remember divisibility rules. Last digits are 0. That means they comes in table of 10. So here 10 2s are 20, 10 3s are 30. Now 2 and 3, these two are prime numbers. So, common factor between 2 and 3 is only 1. Therefore, 2 upon 3 is in its lowest term. So, here it comes 2 upon 3. Now, let's see next example. Here, reduce 25 upon 30 into its lowest term. Now, 25 upon 30. Again, remember divisibility rule of 5. 
here last digit is 5 here last digit is 0 now if last digit is 0 or 5 that means they both will come in table of 5 so here 5 fives are 25 5 6 are 30 so 5 and 6 further cutting is not possible as common factor between 5 and 6 equals to 1 now. So here at the end you will write 5 upon 6 as a lowest term of 25 upon 30. Now see one more question. Here reduce 49 upon 35 into its lowest term. Now 49 upon 35. Now can you tell me on which common table these two numbers will come? Yes. Here 49 and 35 both will come in table of 7. So as we know 7 7s are 49. 7 5s are 35. So at the end. 7 and 5 are the numbers in which common factor equals to 1. Therefore, 7 upon 5 is the lowest term of 49 upon 35. So students, today we have discussed how to find missing numerator or denominator in equivalent fractions. Also, we have discussed how to reduce a fraction into its lowest term. So I hope with the help of this video, you all will be able to solve the related sums given in your SNAP homework. Thank you. Have a nice day.